as summer arrived, guys, or what? Lovely, and it's today. Gorgeous day. Um, I'm off to the butchers. I was wondering what to do for me uh, bakeway takeaway Wednesday. And then I had a neighbour pop round yesterday to give me something. So, Tony, thank you very much for this, buddy. Um, he's given me, well, you've probably seen it on the thumbnail, ain't you? Uh, well, I'll show you properly when I get home. Uh, and it's supposed to be the best, well, one of the best you can get. Uh, so we'll show you, and we'll have, we'll get some butchers, we'll butchers, I'll get some meat. Uh, and we'll have a look at what it tastes like. I thought I'd go to butchers, get some chicken, because it's better quality, in it? And uh, last time I went there, I got some chicken. It was absolutely delicious. So you pay a little bit extra, but you get, you pay for what you get, don't you? So that's where I'm going, get some of that, get some onions and some peas, and then uh, we'll cook, and we'll see what it tastes like. So off to the butchers we go. Here we go, good old Evans. Good old Evans butchers. Couple of pieces of chicken breast I want today. Hello, Mumuka, how are we today? Good, yeah, ta. A uh, couple of pieces of chicken uh, yes. breast, yes, please. Okay. Lovely day today, innit? How are you, mate? You okay? The last one, very good. Did you watch it, did you? I did, yeah. That was uh, curry sauce, I think, weren't it, last yeah. one, yeah. Will you be doing this? Uh, yes, I'm going to be doing that tonight on a curry dish. Yes, I am. Oh, brilliant. Let me have a look yeah. at them, mate. Well, after seven. It'll be about after seven o'clock. Lovely. Take care, see you later. No worries. Lovely, my man. Thank you. Oh, 100% British. Brilliant, brilliant. So, last time I came here, I got the chicken. It was absolutely delicious, you know. There you go. So, I thought I would come back here again. Oh. Oh, bang on. Thank you very much. Lovely. Take care, lads. Yeah. See you later. Sure. Yes, bye. Yeah, there we go. Been the butchers. That's done. Five, but they are really big, big pieces. Um, and you do pay for what you get, don't you? Um, there they are. And that's plenty for what I'm going to do. Now then, I've got to go and get some onions. We've got our thingy shop. Put my glasses on, I can't, because of the sun. Our uh, fruit and veg shop in town closed down, which is a right shame. Um, I suppose they weren't getting enough custom, uh, which is a shame, because we used to always go in there. But hey, never mind. Uh, I've just got to pop in B&M, see if they've got something. Won't record in there because of the music. And then we'll go home. Oh, I've got to go powder, get some onion. Um, uh, yeah, Aldi, yeah, Aldi, yeah, Aldi, get some onion. And then home and cook. Oh, I've just been in b and they didn't have what I wanted. Um, but I did see something else. It's in my bag, I'll show you when I get home. Uh, cost me a tenner. Uh, reduced from 15 quid. Um, and I think... It, and that can review it on her channel, see if it's any good, uh, and then I can have it then. Uh, that's what we're going to do. I'll show you when we get home anyway, and if you want to see her review it, then pop over to her channel. Her link will be in the description anyway. And uh, I'll get her to review it on hers, see how easy it is for someone who struggles with their hands. Right, how do we go? That's how it is now. Uh, yeah, just some onions and some peas, I think. I think that's all I need. I wouldn't need a, wouldn't need a trolley, I don't think. Not for just them bits. Uh, no, I won't. Bird's eye, 259. Aldi, 95p. Aldi it is. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you know you always go in the shop and you only want one or two items. <laughs> it's always the way, Annie. It's always the way. Never mind. Let's go home, wait for Nat to get back. Uh, she's out with the lad on her, he's doing a tab. You know what a tab is like? Uh, a long walk uh, at speed uh, with his backpack on for his weights. Um, she's on a scooter, so that goes eight mile an hour. She's going to try and keep up with her uh, for about five mile, I think, four or five mile. Uh, and when they're back, I'll start cooking. And because uh, this ain't going to take long to do at all, maybe 20 minutes, I suppose, or something. Won't take long to cook. Um, yeah, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, the lad goes back next um, week Sunday. He goes back to his next phase. And that takes him until Christmas then. Uh, that just hones his skills. Uh, and then he's off on deployment. Mm, well, he's off to Wales, into his regiment. And then he's off on deployment. Uh, he's on about Cyprus or Kenya, I think he was on about. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, they keep changing things. But yeah, there we go. So, off home we go. Right, Natalie's just got back. She's been out for, how long have you been out, Bab? Three hours. Three hours, walking. Uh, yeah. 28 kg he has on him. Uh, walked absolutely miles. Come back absolutely soak, soaking the sweat now. But really bad. yeah. Really bad. So now I'm going to start preparing my food. Oh, that's got the kettle on as usual. I'll wait till she's finished. Oh, really? Alright, let me just show you what I got from BM, which I haven't told Nat yet. She can see it like, but I haven't told her what it's for. She's looking. That's what I bought. Ten pounds reduced from fifteen. A tower cavalito, is it or something? Uh, rose gold edition, one litre grey glass bowl chopper. Ten pounds. There it is. Uh, I'm going to get Nat to review that on her channel over the weekend or next week or something. Then I can use it then. Hey, Bab, what do you think? No, What's yeah. It? It's a chopper upper. Oh, would you like yeah? Don't yeah. Know doing that at all. Yeah. I'd like if you want. Well, just, just do whenever you're free. Never. Whenever you're thing. Yeah, I'll do it Yeah. Yeah. That's quite nice, actually. Put a tenner. I thought, well, I'll get That's it for bad. a tenner. Put a tenner. Then I'll get Nat to review that, then I can use it then, can't no, I? Um, right, let me, let me get on with well, what I'm doing now. Sorry. So, that's what we're going to do. A uh, genuine Chinese curry serves eight to ten. Now, say my neighbour got it me. Um, I don't know how much it was, but I have looked online, and they they, they vary from different places. Even Amazon from like one pound fifty to up to about two quid. Uh, but then you can buy big boxes of them, like I don't know, a pack of twelve or something. Uh, but and then I've looked at the reviews on it on different websites, and everybody says it's absolutely delicious. So. That's what I'm going to do. Chinese, uh, genuine Chinese curry serves 8 to 10. Uh, authentic Chinese curry. Concentrate. Uh, that's how you do it. Look, I'm going to do the whole lot, the old bag. Uh, then I can always freeze it if I need to then. Take one and three quarter pints of cold water in a saucepan. Add the contents. Stir thoroughly and bring to the boil. For smaller portions, mix 65 grams of curry mix with half a pint of water. So I suppose that's if you want to do like one, I suppose, or two. And there's the ingredients, and it has got MSG in it. And that's all it says about it, really. Uh, May May Foods, Bilston, West Midlands. Nothing on the back. So that is it. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a chicken, basic chicken Chinese curry, and see. Um, I've already done some onions here, I've already chopped them up, I've done two large onions. I've got the peas, which I said I was getting, they're in the freezer. There's my chicken, which I'm not going to dice up yet. And I've also been asked, I've done it a few times on my channel, can I show the full steps of my rice, how to get my rice, how, how I do my rice. So that's what I'm going to do, show the full steps of that as well today. So we'll start off with that. I'm just going to open the bag. Um, I never weigh my rice. Uh, if you want to wait, just follow your packet instructions. 
I never ever wait, I just put it in because our lad likes eating a, a lot of rice anyway. He'll eat it on his own with a bit of salt, he loves, he loves his rice. So uh, I always do extra and then he can just have a bit then, have more and more because he does like it. So with your rice, oh, you do get some in a bowl or in a sieve if you want to. That'll about do. Way too much there, but that'll do because I'll have to eat it. And then we want to get it in your sink under the cold water and you want to get rid of all the starch. I always let it run for a few minutes and give it a mix, which I'll show you anyway. So when it's running for a few minutes, just keep stirring, stir your rice. You want to get rid of all that starch. You want your rice nice and clear. Don't worry you think your rice is going to look a bit gloopy, but it won't once it's cooked. You want to get that as clear as you can. There you go, keep doing it. Let it do. It take about, should take about five minutes altogether. You want all that clear. And while we'll, we'll, we'll that's uh, doing its thing, we'll start cook, cook, cutting the chicken up. Okay, let's get the chicken out from the butcher. They are quite big and they're delicious. There they are. You can see them properly. Split them up. Two massive chicken breasts there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop them into thin slices. Um, last time I'd done one of these, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, I've done a beef one. People saying it's not authentic because your, your meat's too thick. Well, cut it thinner then, you know, but I'm not a chef. At the end of the day, just cut it to what you think. I think that's just a bit nitpicking, you know. Just cut it to what you think. You know, you can't please everybody, can you, all the time, you know. I mean, when you're worried about the thickness of your meat, you know, when you've got to get it exactly, you know, you've got to get the tape measure out and measure it, every slice. Come on. It's not about how it looks, is it? It's all about the taste. Well, there's one. We'll do this one. So you get loads of chicken. I was going to butterfly them, you know, and then get a lot more. But there's only four of us. This will do four of us easy. Now, when I can't do all this cutting, I can't do all that stuff. I'll end up chopping my fingers off. So I won't be doing none of that. I'll do it my way. I'll do it my way. And I'm not going to put any soy sauce in this either, because this one is all about uh, the curry powder. Right, that's all then done. Now, over to the rice. Okay, I have washed my hands, I have to go upstairs and do them because obviously this tap's on. But they are washed. There's the rice, look. Still a bit cloudy. So give it a stir and get all that starch out. Just till it gets clear, that's all you want. So nearly there. There, that's quite clear in now, look. All the starch is gone. And that stops your rice sticking. That's all that is. Okay, the rice is sitting in the water, it's all clean. I'm going to get a hot pan of water on now. Uh, with the water, what I do with my rice, I just put in, people say, I mean, it says on the packets, I think, as well, uh, a pan full of water. I'm sure it says that on the packets, I'll have a look. Uh, but I don't, I just put enough water in there just to cover the rice. That's what I do. But I'm, I'll just check on the packet and just make sure it says, I'm sure it says a pan full. Yeah, it says there, I don't know if you can see it. You just say there's a large pan of boiling water. You see there, look. 
probably blurred. But that's what it says, a large pan of boiling water. So you'd think a large pan of boiling water, wouldn't you? Um, but no, just enough to cover the rice, that's what I do. Leave that to get hot first, and we'll get on with the chicken. Right, I'm just going to get a little bit of oil in this pan first, just a drop. We'll get that heated up. Okay, chicken's going in. You want to get this fried up, uh, all seared and virtually cooked first. Now I say obviously if I was doing my own, not as a test with that sauce, I'd have probably put some soy sauce and um, with this curry, with this chicken, and a bit of seasoning and that. But obviously as I want to taste, I don't want to add more stuff if I want to taste the curry, if you get me. I am going to put a bit of salt in though, you have to have a bit of salt, but yeah. I know it's got MSG, but I'll put a bit of salt on the chicken. And we just get all this browned up. Well, not browned up, but, you know, cooked. Okay, now my rice is boiling now. So you can get your, uh, my rice is boiling. My water's boiling. A little bit of salt. If you want a bit of salt. If I just drain your rice, and there it is, look, in the colander. Get it in. Nice and simple. Bring it to the boil. Okay, rice is boiling. Give it one stir. Or well, it'll be two or three like that. Time to simmer. Now just leave that for 10, 15 minutes. That's your rice done virtually. Because it can just sit there then. Okay then, chickens are virtually done. A couple have caught a little bit brown, but that ain't going to matter. Uh, as well as cleaning up and that. So they're going to go into a bowl. Just going to give this a wipe. There we go. Bit of oil now. Again, now get your onions in. Onions in. Just till they start going translucent. Okay, onions are done. So I'm going to take that off a minute. Now, we're going to get on with a genuine Chinese curry. So, I've got myself uh, another saucepan. I've got one and three quarters of point here. I don't know whether to put it all in. I've never used it before. So I might put a not quite all of it, and then um, add as I go, if you get what I mean, because I do want it a bit thick. <laughs> so let's get this curry powder. I mean, it says oh, the whole pack, so I say I'm going to do the whole pack. Let's have a look at it then and see what it looks like. That's it there, what's it smell like? Ooh. Oh, that smells really nice. Oh, it does. That does smell really nice. Well, then you've got to put it in cold water. What is it? Cold water in the saucepan. Add all the contents and stir thoroughly and bring to the boil. Okay. So it's just the same as um, my flour and that, isn't it, really? I hope this pan's big enough. It should be. And we'll bring this to the boil. Then that will be done. And just keep stirring constantly, get rid of all these lumps. If I need to add more water, I will. Um, I can't take out, can I now? So if it's not thick enough, I've only got the one pack, so if it's not thick enough, and it should be, it's thickening up. Okay, while well, I'm stirring this, uh, my rice is nearly done. There it is, look, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it properly uh, with a steam and that. It's looking nice and fluffy. Just a little bit more water in there, so another couple of minutes, and we'll turn that off, and it can sit. Um, while I was showing you that voice then, I forgot to stir, and uh, it's clumped up a bit. Look. So make sure you keep stirring. I'll get rid of it as I stir along. It is starting to thicken up now. Eh? 
Yeah, don't take your eye off the ball on this stuff then, obviously. Okay, guys, that 20 seconds I stopped stirring for, uh, it's gone all thick. Look at that. I've added some more water. Um, so I'm just persevering. So obviously keep a big eye on it. You know what I mean? I think that's going to do us. Once I get it in the pan, I could always add a little bit more water if I need to. It's lovely and thick. <laughs> Too thick. Oh dear. Okay, now we're going to get the chicken back in with the onions. Oh dear. The sauce has gone pear shaped. <laughs> God. It's only a couple of seconds, I'm not stirring it. And the frozen peas, we're going to get them in. We're going to get this all a mix. Oh, it's gone really thick. It's like paste. Mmm, I'll make for next time. Let's try and pour some of this in here. God. Look at it. <laughs> Oh, I'll have to get some more when I, I'll have to get some more. It might come all right. I'll, just do, I'll do a bit at a time and then I'll mix it. God, it's very thick, man. I might have to put some more water in there. I'll mix it all together in this. I'm going to have to, I think, guys. I'm going to have to. Let's get some more in. Yeah, don't stop stirring this stuff, God. I didn't think that would happen. I know you're supposed to keep stirring, but... It went as thick as anything straight away. <laughs> I've got to put some water in. And maybe simmer it down a bit. It's no good, that, is it? It's no good, that. I will rectify it. I will get it right. Put the lid on it maybe and let it simmer through and it should uh, be alright. Mmm, <laughs> take away, take away. God, oh no. Oh no. Wow, it's all gone pear shaped. <laughs> Anyone for rice? Nat says she's had that before, years ago before she met me. Um, when she lived in Birmingham. And she, told, she just shouted at me, I would stop stirring it, it's making it worse. Mmm, let me show you Obviously stir it like that. Yeah, stir it, but I've gone too far. Don't it. Oh. That looks better now. I've added more better. water. Still very gloopy. Very gloopy. But hopefully it might simmer down. <laughs> it's all gone pear-shaped. I thought it would have been a bit like uh, the other ones I've used, but no, this one's gone. Proper. God, it's proper thick stuff. Ain't it? Uh, I've added more water to it, but... There you go. I'll have to go and get another one and try it again. Not today, obviously, uh, another time. I'm not getting another one today. Uh, we'll eat it and we'll see what it's like, won't we? That's it. Right, let's dish up. God, there's my rice. Obviously, that's come out perfect. There it is, look. Nice and simple. Some of that on there. Oh, God. Never mind. <clears throat> I'll do another one and do all the rices first. Put mine in the middle because I like my curry on top and my rice. Okay, now for the curry. <laughs> I can't leave it any longer, it's just going to dry the meat out. Uh, so, yeah, let me show you. <laughs> there you go. It's just way too thick, way too thick. It's like. Look at it. I mean, it does look quite well now. It's just too thick. Look at it. It's far too thick. But hey, up, eh? It does look nice, doesn't it? It just needs a little... I do like thick curry, but it's just a little bit too thick, that. Anyway, let's dish them all up and get up the table. That reckons it's gorgeous. I know. She's eating hers, but... Yes, lovely. I don't know, eh? Mm. Let me show you a closer look now. Mm. Mm. 
there we go. Mm. Now I've never ever, ever had that happen before on one of them curry powders, um, ever. To do that, or curdle like that. Uh, probably me for not putting as much water in as it said to start with. Because uh, I thought it could be like just add a bit more water. Then I kept stirring and that stop stirring it. I've had it before. Uh, you're making it worse. And <laughs> 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 you're just getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Yep. Thing. Never mind. Hey. Still tastes nice, right? Mm. I, I really like it. I'm honest, I'll show you my mistakes, you know. I'm not I'm not bothered. Mm -mm. It's not one of them ways that I'm not uploading that, you know. I'm gonna try it and see. Oh. That chicken's lovely, isn't it, from the butcher? Yeah. Now, what I found with that, this, this now, I mean, it's my mistake. I'm going to have to do it again. I'm going to have to revisit it. Is, let me try it on its own. Because I've added water to it after, it's got that watery, it's got a little bit of a watery. Mm -hmm. You find that? Not really, no. No, no not at all. F find it a bit watery. That's my mistake. Mm. I'm gonna have to, I can't give you that a score because I'm gonna have to revisit it because I've cocked it up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> do I think it's not. No, I'm not moaning. I'm saying it's. You don't want it thin, thin. No, but I don't want it like this thick. Yeah. I want a bit of sauce, you know. Yeah, but that's your mistake. Mm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it still tastes nice. And because I've watered it down as well now, after in the pan, kept trying to get it thinner. I've had it just diluted it a bit, hasn't it? After. Do you get what I mean? Mm. That's what I'm saying. But you couldn't have had it as that thick. No, you couldn't have had that thick. That was my mistake. The more you um, stir it, the thicker it's just going to get. Well, all I've done was... <coughs> I showed my voice for 20 seconds mm. without stirring it. So I lifted my camera up to show my voice. And when I come back down, that was it. It was... Glitter. It'd gone. Yes! <laughs> I'm stirring trying to get the lumps out. It's just thicker and thicker. Uh, I'm going to have to ask Tony where we got it from. And I'm going to have to get some more and review that. But what do you think of it, personally? I think it's really nice. You think it's really, Nat thinks it's really nice. I want to give it a proper review, so I'm going to do it again. So I'm not reviewing it. Uh, I'm not saying it's horrible. But I wanted that authentic taste on it. But never mind, eh? Some of you win, some of you lose. Um, yeah, but you don't want it too strong, do you? Hmm? You don't want it too strong. You don't want it too thick. Hmm? I want it as it's supposed to be in the packet. Mm. That's what I want it for. Um, but yeah, because it's nowhere near as good as the got as it stands now. It's nowhere near as goldfish or Mayflower, in my opinion, is it? No. That's it, my but I can't judge it properly because I've cocked up. Well, never mind. Uh, let me know if you've had it before and laughing at what I've done and whatever. <laughs> hmm. That's the fake way. Take away. Gone wrong. I think it's my first one that's gone wrong, ain't it? Yeah. Some of you win, some of you lose. As I say, I'm the old food guy. Um, <coughs> I've probably got a mug of life tomorrow. Um, you doing anything tomorrow? Yeah. You are? What are you doing? Videos. No. Because I haven't been live for a week. Well, you can go live. I don't uh, I'm about Friday, ain't we? You can go Unless live. I go live the weekend. Yeah. I'll let you know anyway. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll leave a post up if I'm going live and that. Uh, see what we got on. I know we're out Friday, so we can't go Friday definitely. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'll sort it out. See you later. Bye bye.